The following segment is sponsored by Shopco Optical. Alongside nutrition and exercise, sleep rounds out the wellness trifecta, providing the body with the restoration it needs. Dr. Ben Cannon with Shopco Optical is here to tell us about sleep and how it can help protect our eyesight. Dr. Ben, thanks for being here. Thanks, Carrie. We love having you here. Okay, how important is sleep when it comes to our eye health? It's very important. Um, it, like every part of the body, the eye needs to recover. And um, when we're sleeping, we have that eyelid hopefully covering the cornea, giving it enough time to regenerate um, and, and recover from a long day of looking at our, at our screens, looking at driving down the road, everything we do, we use our eyes. And so they need that time to recover at night. Sure, that makes sense. Okay, and what correlation between sleep deprivation and ocular conditions? How does that work? Okay, so dry eyes can affect a lot of people. Um, when you're sleeping, there's some people that actually sleep with their eyes open just a little bit wow. and it's called lagophthalmos um, if and the lids are just like slightly open just a little bit or if you sleep on your pillow and it's squishing your eyelid up a little bit it can kind of okay. leave it open now that can be kind of weird if your spouse does that you know it because you're always <laughs> kind of suspicious of what's going on a little but, creepy <laughs> um, but it's a problem because it can really dry out that surface of the eye mm -hmm. so all night or a couple hours even if you've got that open eye it'll just dry right out and in the morning it can cause really uncomfortable eyes plus your vision can be a little blurry from it too sure okay well what about the correlation between sleep apnea and glaucoma yeah so this one's more recently they've found this correlation that people with sleep apnea um, it, you know it's a it's an oxygen issue they have less oxygen circulating through their airways and sure, that might affect your eyes um, because internally, if you're not getting enough oxygen delivered through your blood vessels, it can affect your optic nerve. And that's what glaucoma is. It's mm. an optic nerve disease. And they have found that people with sleep apnea are at higher risk of developing glaucoma. Glaucoma is a tough one because there's not a lot of symptoms early on. And so if a person has sleep apnea, they really should be checking their eyes at least once a year. Um, because then we can look to see if there is any signs, any other risk factors besides sleep apnea for glaucoma. Because it's one of those silent eye diseases that um, until it's pretty advanced and, and irreversible, you don't know. we just don't know unless you get your eyes checked. Sure. Um, CPAP machines for sleep apnea, they're, they're a constant battle for those patients who need to use them. Um, having a good seal along the, uh, the nose is very hard to get um, and so any of that seepage of the air just blowing on the eyes all night again can dry out the surface so that one people know about if they wake up with that symptom of really dry uncomfortable eyes a lot of times it's the CPAP machine poorly fit. sure yeah that's good that's good to know thank you for telling us that okay and of course like you said it's good to get your eyes checked at least yearly for that where can we go for more information and to schedule an exam with ShopCo yeah, you can go to shopco.com and it's a great way to schedule appointments right on the website and find out more about our doctors and, and our services that we provide there. Okay, great. Ben, thanks for the information. Great to see you. Thanks, Gary.